Hey there guys, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can fill the slots for our loot bag system. So as of right now, when we run up to an enemy and kill it and then pick up the loot bag, you can see all of the slots are empty. So what we're going to be doing is writing a little bit of code inside of the engine which is going to tell each of these slots to just drop a random item in there within the range and that range obviously being our item IDs. So let's go ahead and show you how you can do that. Now one thing I do want to mention before I go any further is that all of our stuff for each one of those slots, the pick up bag slots, are inside of our third person game mode. So having keeping that in mind, what I'm going to do is open up my loot bag pickup, the uh, actor for this, the one that actually contains the static mesh and all of the code that sort of tells the engine what to do when the player walks over it. Now at the end of it, after it collides with either the sword character and the magic character, what I'm going to tell it to do is pretty straightforward. So the first thing I'm going to do is cast to the third person game mode. And the third person game mode is where all of this information is being stored. So what we're going to do as third person game mode, we are essentially going to set pick up item slot one and then pick up item slot two and all the way up to five and we are just going to set this to a random number. So what I'm going to do is create each one of these. So slot three going down, slot four and then the last one which is slot five. So get set slot five. And with this what we're going to do is we are just going to feed in some information. So one second, so set slot four, made a bit of a mistake there. But anyway, what we're going to do is just feed some information into here because at the moment it's just setting it to zero. And what we're going to do is just use integer in range. So random integer in range. And what this is going to do is set each one of these to a random integer, a random number. Now what I need to do with this is get our minimum and our maximum and the way we're going to do this is we need to look at our item IDs and if you remember our item IDs are pretty straightforward and the way I can get that is by simply opening up our inventory system and then with this clicking on one of these little icons go to the function to get the binding and you can see we have got a maximum of three and a minimum of zero. So zero is empty and three is maximum. So having said that, what I need to do then inside of my loop pickup is I need to set my maximum to three in the range and minimum for zero. So it could be a key, it could be wood, it could be anything, it's entirely up to the engine. And then what I'm gonna do with that is simply just drag these in here and just link them up. So it essentially goes through each and every single one of those slots, just like that. So just move it along and join them all up just like this. So now if we join them up, just like I am here, and then also what I'm gonna do is copy and paste this node so it's not the same information each time, um, it should, fill those slots for us and we'll test that in just a second. So what I also need to do is just join up our new code here to what we had before. So just link it up for both the sword character and the magic character just like that. So compile and you can see there's an issue at the moment and that is because I haven't fed in an object wildcard. Object wildcard for casting to the third person game mode should simply be get game mode. Just like that, compile it and any er errors that you have are going to go away. Move back into the map, press play and then if we just kill one of our enemies or one of our AI rather and one more swing, 
pick it up and you can see these slots are now being filled. So you can see there's just random items in here and one of them is actually empty so you don't always get a full bag of loot but that has done exactly what I wanted it to do. So what we also need to do now then is we need to find a way to Pretty much when you click these items it goes into your inventory but that is for the next video anyway guys i'm gonna leave the video here once again thanks for watching stay awesome and i hope you enjoy the next video where we finish off the inventory your boy vertus signing out this video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.